today's vlog is all about painting the beauty room. So we're going to, I need to wash the walls, prime, paint the beauty room. And um, they say it should be like a two, maybe three day process. I really want to see if we can get it done in less time than that. I really want to see if we can get it done in two days. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna go over which paint color I selected, how much everything costs, um, all of our supplies. I chose to go to Benjamin Moore. It's one of our local paint shops and I've heard great reviews about them. So we actually spent $265 at the paint store. Now, one thing that I did think about was, I wonder how much it would have cost us to just pay somebody to paint 650 square feet. Um, I'm sure I probably would have been around, along those same lines, but with us actually doing it, it really allows me to be a lot more involved in the painting process, so that way I can really know exactly what colors I like. Um, I got to actually test out some colors that you'll see later on in this vlog, or I might do it in a separate one, I'm not 100% sure. Um, so it allowed us to go through a few more steps and then once we really see if we like this color, then I will see if we want to use it in the rest of the home. So let's get straight to it. Um, I did choose primer because these walls are extremely blue. Like you can see, this is heavy. Um, so this is the primer that we chose, which is the Speed High Quick Drying Latex Sealer by PPG. The paint color whew, that we chose is by Benjamin Moore, the Regal Select Series. The color that I chose is Cloud White, and this is in a matte finish. Now, I was thinking about doing a monochromatic look. Oh, sorry, let me tell you how much that costs. So, the Speed, the speed Primer is $37.98 a gallon and the paint is $56.99 a gallon. Then I also got the Regal Select Cloud White in the eggshell finish and this is going to be for the trim work. That cost, this cost $25.99. And then the rest of these things. So this, we have um, carpet in this space, and the reason why I wanted to, the reason why the gentleman suggested this tool is so that way you can just put places down into the carpet, um, and then paint around it and just wipe up or wipe the access paint off, and then go to the next section. So I'm gonna try this method to see if that's gonna save us any time. That was $10.99. And then this lightweight spackle, I hope you guys can see that, which um, there's just like a few nails and like holes in the wall and a few little dings. And because we're painting it white, of course, I wanna make sure that it has a very smooth finish. This is $3.99. I think he gave this to me for free. I don't see this on um, on here. This is just like a little sander, a soft sander. And then I had to get more paint brushes. So if you saw me um, do the test, I had some paint brushes before, but I didn't wash them out properly. I didn't wash them out on time. I let them sit and dry for like two hours. I think we went to dinner or something. And then I tried to go back and rinse them out and they were already like ruined. So I'm like, well, that was an expensive mistake. Not expensive, but that was a mistake that was unwarranted. Um, so don't, don't do that guys. <laughs> this might seem kind of basic, but. Uh, and then, so we got two paint brushes. These are seven. Hmm. Oh, this one is bigger. So this one is $9.99 and this one is $7.99 just because I want to get a feel for which one uh, works best for me. And then I got these. So this is actually for the spackle. 
And then this is supposed to be for another um, trick to actually get the, this is a different spatula. The reason why I purchased this one is because I saw someone on YouTube take this tool, place it in between the carpet with tape, and then that is supposed to allow you to do trim work. So I have two different methods that we're gonna potentially try today. And then the actual tape is so, the thick one is $6.49 and the smaller one was $4.99. And then we got, I got these rollers. I really like the way um, that the paint adhered to the wall with this roller that I used before for the test strip. These rollers, I think he charged me for these rolling brushes. I'm not seeing it on the um, receipt. These frames, however, or maybe it's, I don't think it's a set. These roller frames, which I purchased two of, are $3.49 a piece. And then these are the plastic bags that I need to put down on the floor. These are $3.29. So, oh, and then the actual, this, what is this? this actual green tray itself that we're going to put the paint in. Um, that $1.99. I really wish I would have got two of those, but I was rushing. That would have made more sense. That way I can paint one side of the room and my fiance can paint the other side uh, without walking back and forth with paint. So that way we don't get any on the floor. Um, but you know, you live and you learn. So, and it is April the 3rd, Saturday, April 3rd.